Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you ASP.NET Core Razor Pages using a Hello World program. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So I'll start with some brief information about Razor Pages. Razor Pages is a new technology which has been introduced in ASP.NET Core. It has been implemented over ASP.NET MVC and it is quite similar to ASP.NET MVC. But it also inherits some of the features from the ASP.NET web forms. So in other words, we can say it is a combination of ASP.NET MVC architecture and some special features of ASP.NET web forms. So let's start with our video. So from the file menu, we'll select the new option and new project. Here we'll select ASP.NET Core web application. Here I'll give a suitable name to our project. Now I'll click on the create button. This will open up another pop-up where I'll select the project type as empty. I'm selecting project empty so that I can explain you from scratch which are the things which we have to make a note for ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So now the project is ready. Let's move to the solution explorer where I'll give you some information about the project structure. At present, if you notice the project structure is very similar to an empty MVC core project. So at start both look similar, but then the folder structure and the pages which are created are different. In MVC core, we have three folders, controllers, views and model, but here we'll create a new folder called pages and the pages folder holds all the pages required for the application. Now we'll add a page to the folder. We'll click on add new reserve page. Then I'll click on the first option and then click add. Now here we have to give a suitable name to the reserve page and then we'll click on the add button. So this is the .cshtml page and it is very similar to the view of ASP.NET MVC. Here if you notice we have not created any model but already a model has been defined. So here index model is actually a controller which performs all the actions but it has been inherited as a model. So this if you remember and if you have worked on web forms you will remember that the code behind class is actually inherited in the AXPS page. So let's open the index model class. Now if you see this structure is very similar to an MVC controller. Here there is a method called onGet which is obviously handling the get calls and it is very similar to the MVC action result method. In reserve pages, such methods are called handler methods. Now before starting the actual programming, we'll do some configuration in the startup.cs class. So here I am adding a namespace. Microsoft.ASP.NETCore.MVC As I said earlier, Razor Pages are actually based on the MVC architecture and hence we have to inherit some libraries of MVC. Now inside the configure services method, I'll be adding the MVC service and then I'll be setting the compatibility to ASP.NET Core 2.1 as I'm making use of ASP.NET Core 2.1. So the configuration part is completed. So I'll run the application and see whether it is working perfectly or not. So as you can see the index page is showing. That means our project is perfectly configured. So I'll now close the browser and move back to the index model page where we'll do the further programming. So here I am creating a public property 
as you have seen earlier we have specified this particular class as the model for our razor page that means whatever properties you create here can be inherited inside the razor page that means if i create a property message here i can easily use it in my razor page this is quite again similar to the web forms where in our code behind class if you create a protected or a public property we can access it in our aspx page so inside the on get method i am setting the string property with some value so we are done in the index model class let's move to the razor page so the message which we have set inside the on get method we will be displaying it here so inside the headline tag i am displaying the message property and similar to mvc i am making use of model object so this completes the programming part let's run the project and see it in action so as you can see the message which we have set in the on get method is displaying in the razor page so today we learned how to create a simple hello world application in asp.net core razor page also we learned what are razor pages how it is similar to mvc how it is different from mvc also we learned how to pass message from the code behind of a razor page to the front end of a razor page so with this we come to the end of this video the link for the source code is available in the description thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon